Okay, what's up everybody? It's Nico, and this is not a real game of Conquest. This is me playing Conquest Map Room because, well, to be honest, I wanted to talk to you guys about stuff. And that stuff is, well, specifically, anime. Now, you may be wondering, Nico, I didn't know you were a mega nerd that likes anime, you weeaboo fuck. And, to be honest, that's really rude. I don't know why you would say that to me. Uh, secondly, and I not a weeaboo. <laughs> Though, I mean, I like anime. I'm just not super, super into it or anything. But I just want to talk about anime because recently I was... Well, not recently, but like... I don't know. A couple months ago, I was able to get a free month of Crunchyroll because of SourceFed. I don't know if you know this, but they on SourceFed Nerd, they have the whole thing where you can get a free month of Crunchyroll. Where Crunchyroll is a site where you can stream anime. And before you ask, is it English dub or Japanese dubbed? It's Japanese dub with English subtitles, sorry. Words, hard, speaking, things, yes. Sorry, English hard. Anyway, so I was watching uh, anime on Crunchyroll. The first one I watched off there was Sword Art Online. Finished that really quickly. Apparently there's another arc coming out, I think, this summer, I want to say. Also, my dogs are barking, so you guys are going to have to deal with that. I'm sorry, but... I'm, I'm not restarting. Not doing it. I refuse. So, deal with it. Um, and then after I watched Sword Art Online, I was like, huh, I don't know what else to watch on here. Because, you know, I got it, and I'm just like, whatever. And then I was like, wait a second. I just realized I the Bleach is on here. I loved Bleach back when it was airing on Toonami when I was a freshman in high school. I was like, yeah, I'll watch Bleach. And then I started to. Why am I slow? Like, why is my attack speed slow? What the hell is that? Um, so my... That was weird. I don't know why my attack speed was slow. But yeah, it was like, Bleach is on here. I fucking... Ah, Bleach was so awesome when I was watching it on... Uh, not Toonami, Adult Swim. Rip. Uh, in freshman year high school. So... I was like, oh, I'll start watching Bleach again from the beginning. And I was like, oh, since it's so old, it's probably going to be in English. I don't know why I wanted it to be in English, because I, I don't know. I just did. but Or why I expected it to be in English, but it wasn't. So I got to watch uh, Bleach, Japanese, you know, language, English subtitles. That was cool. Um, I watched all of it, except for any um, filler. I didn't watch any of the filler arcs, like the Bount arc, or the Zanpakuto... Fuck, what is that arc called? The Zanpakuto... Rebellion arc. Yeah, Rebellion. It's a rebellion, because they rebel. They don't want to be used anymore. Didn't watch that. I basically only, like had a filler list the open the entire time. I was just like, what is canonical with the ma manga? And then read, not read, watched all that. And then after I did that, which I did in about like two weeks, I think, because I kind of just marathoned through it, um, I was like, okay, now what do I do? And I kind of stopped watching anime. But then, uh, I don't know, it was like not too long ago on Twitter, a bunch of people were like, ah, the Kill La Kill finale. And I was like, I've heard about that before. I wonder if that's any good. So I started watching Kill La Kill and it's pretty awesome. Um, little, some nudity in it. Well, not nudity, nudity, like partial nudity. So, if if you're self-conscious and be like, I don't want my parents to see me watching this kind of anime, then just know there's that in it. Um, and then, where are you going, Sobek? What else? Kill a Kill has a little bit of partial nudity in it. Um, but to be honest, Kill a Kill, if you have never watched it, is like super absurd and doesn't take itself seriously in any way, shape, or form. So it's not funny that there's like nudity. It's just, it makes sense for what the anime is. It's just a really absurd anime that doesn't take itself seriously in any respect. And I'm only like five episodes in, but to be honest, I think it might be one of my favorite anime ever. Like, it might be in my top three. And my top three is Dragon Ball Z, because I grew up watching that. Bleach, because I I don't know, I just really like that show. And now Kill All Kill. Um, anime I kind of want to watch. Like, I've been thinking about going back and watching. Yu Yu Hakusho was on Toonami back when I was in, like, middle school. 
And I remember it being really cool, and I was kind of interested to see how the, uh, like, uncensored Japanese version of it is. Rip Kali. Man, they really like dying to the tower. Oh, good job, Guan Yu. Um, so I want to see what Yu Yu Hakusho is like when it's uncensored and in Japanese and all that stuff. And then Rurouni Kenshin was also on back then, and, like, I, I want to see that too. Because I had a friend who really liked it, but I never watched it, and I don't know why. Because it was about samurais and feudal Japan, and it was apparently really badass. I don't know. I, so, I don't know. Maybe it was on Adult Swim and not Toonami. I don't understand why I wouldn't watch that. Like, everything points to me watching that, so. I don't want to be slowed. I don't like being slowed. Um, so, I'm going to watch those two after I finish Kill La Kill. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but like I, 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 yeah, I can't remember at all. But I, I'm only on like episode five of Kill a Kill, and I think it's amazing. It's just really absurd. The action's awesome. It, the animation style is weird because it goes from like being really serious at certain points to be like completely stupid and just dumb, looking and funny. And I don't know. I think it's awesome. Also, I don't know if I'd actually ever do this in a real game. Like, get Jotun's full and then buy Boots 1. Though, I would suppose if you're that fed that you can buy Jotun's, like a full Jotun's Wrath instead of Boots, it makes more sense because not only do you get lots of damage, you get the CDR, and you get Pen, which, I mean, it, it makes sense to buy full Jotun's. Ooh, oh, I thought he was going to keep running forward. I'm going to have to go in the air. God damn it. This is the one problem about not buying cooldown boots immediately because you're really slow that's why i don't th think it's that good of an idea the early pen and everything else is awesome just not being able to move like and have to utilize your two like all the time just sucks yeah um what was i saying oh yeah check out this sexy legendary thanatos skin it's sexy i like the golden and black um but other than that uh, Kill a Kill is awesome. Oh, the animation style goes from like really super serious, awesome to not serious at all, kind of crazy. When like, I don't know if episode, I think it was episode four. I'm not sure if that episode is technically like filler, like as if it's referred to as a filler episode, because it didn't really progress the main story that much, and it was more uh, of a like a comedy aspect to it. Like there was more, it was more obvious that they were trying to be comedic. So I'm not sure if it was supposed to be like a like canon or what, but like if it's if that episode is what the filler of Kill a Kill consists of through its like 26 or something episodes, then that's amazing because it was one of the best filler anything I've ever seen. It was hilarious and I loved it. Whereas filler in a lot of anime really sucks. Like bad. Like Bleach's filler, like the two episodes I remember seeing when it was airing on Adult Swim was just bad it was boring and i didn't care about it at all whereas if that was technically filler of that episode of kill a kill what is it i think it was called the start of my terrible morning or something i can't remember the episode title off the off the top of my head but like if that's what filler in that show consists of they bring it on it was hilarious i just uh but yeah um so yeah so I mentioned some anime I've watched, some I plan on watching, and then my question to you guys is, what do you do? You even watch anime? Should I even be making this video? Should I be talking about it? Or are you just like, that's some serious nerd shit, Nico? I don't like that shit. It's nerds, nerd shit. Die. Um, and or are you like, oh yeah, anime is cool. I like watching anime and stuff like that. Or are you like, eh, I don't really watch anime, but I watch Adventure Time because. Well, I I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I could put a picture of my Jake backpack up on screen. I guess I could just do a smooth transition so it's not just like really jarring. But um, I'm just going to have to remind myself that I actually have to do proper editing in this video instead of just being like, oh, here's the video. Okay. Dash away. Okay, or don't. I was expecting if I'm on a dash. That's why I didn't want to use the three. I was going to stop him. Um, the bots are weird though, so I don't know why I expected the bots to actually work like an actual opponent. Uh, <laughs> um, 
But yeah, do you like Adventure Time? What about the regular show? Like, what, what, what do you guys like to watch? Because I don't watch TV anymore. I mostly just watch YouTube videos, and then I'll, like, if I know something's on that I want to watch, I'll be like, oh, hey, look, something's on TV. When my internet's down or something. Like, there's got to be a circumstance to why I'm watching TV. So it's like, oh, my internet's down. Let me go downstairs. Oh, cool, Adventure Time's on. Sweet. And then, or, like, um, what else did I watch recently? Ghost Adventures on the Travel Channel. I love that show. I don't know why, because every time I watch that show, I'm just like, I uh, think I'm going to have to sleep with the light on tonight. Every time I close my eyes, I start thinking about ghosts and demons, and that, yeah, I can't sleep like that. So, I like that show. Don't know why I watch it <laughs> all the time, though. Because then I'm just like, shit. Now I'm thinking about ghosts and shit. And, yeah, then I'll dream and have nightmares. And it's just... It's not a good idea. <laughs> it's one reason I don't read before I go to sleep, because all of the... Damn, I thought I was going to hit. Um, what's it called? All of the books I have are like horror novels and stuff. Like, alright, my favorite book series is... Um, they're called like the Joe Ledger uh, novels, and they're by Jonathan Mayberry. May Mayberry? Mayberry? I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um... The first uh, book is titled Patient Zero, and it's about how Islamic extremists have figured out a way to make zombies. Oh, that's cool. You know, just play the... I hate that glitch so much. Um, Islamic extremists uh, figure out how to make zombies and are using it to, you know, be terrorists and everything. And what else? So there's this Baltimore cop and his name's Joe Ledger, and he's seen some shit. He's been through, like, the thick of it. Like, basically, Joe, in his early life, had a girlfriend. Saw his girlfriend get beaten and raped in front of him, and then, later on, went over to her. Like, they dated for a while, then they broke up, and then, I don't, I can't remember exactly what happened, but he ran over to her house and saw that she had hung herself. Hung herself? Hanged herself. Hung, hanged. They, there's a proper way to say that because hung and hanged are like that's for two different things I think it might be hanged herself when a person does it and you hung up a phone I don't know I why am I getting into the semantics of whether or not it's hung or hanged like what anyway he says all that she killed herself and like it, he's just been through a lot of psychological shit and basically if anyone could be Batman based on psychological trauma I would say Joe Ledger is pretty up there for fictional characters. Um, but yeah, so this like hardcore Baltimore cop that's seen a lot of shit uh, and been through the thick of it is like assigned to this special task force that I can't remember the name of off the top of my head. And basically, they're zombies and they gotta deal with it. And it's like they gotta try to stop the zombies from effectively wiping out all of America. It's actually a really cool book, and, like, because the way the story is told is through the eyes of both Joe and the eyes of the main villain. So, you know what's happening and how it's all being planned out. The ca main character doesn't, and then you get to see that stuff come together. I really like the way the books are written. Um, so, that's my favorite kind of books, but zombies and stuff, just, like, I, I don't want to dream about zombies and being eaten. It's not exactly the best way to spend a night. So, that's why I don't read before I go to sleep. Because those are the book, only books I have. Also, I just remembered. Back to anime ma manga stuff. Instead of just talking about regular books. If you don't watch anime but you read manga, what do you read? Because after I finished watching Bleach, because... I mean, I went and watched it all. Um... I'd heard, like, through just internet talkings of, like, people were just talking about random shit on the internet, that Bleach was never gonna get the last, like, arc made into an anime. And I was like, why the hell is that? I was like, I wanna, I wanna know how the story ends. It was just like, okay, well, then how, like, what's this all about? And so I was like, okay, I'll go read the manga. So I read the manga from beginning to end, well, not end, because it's still ongoing, but till wherever it is right now and so far I I was like oh it's all the fucking people who create the anime's fault that there isn't an anime like the 
Oh, what the hell? God damn it. Turn it back. But the anime for Bleach isn't being made. Because as I read the manga, I was like, wow, they censored a lot of stuff from the manga to the anime. Like, people got limbs cut off more. They were a little more sexual with what they've said. Like, the stuff they said was more vulgar. And, like, one prime example is Nell from uh, the Arancar arc, the really tiny baby Arancar. She throws up on that one uh, fall on Espada. And he's like, why are you throwing up on me? This is disgusting. She's like, I'm not throwing up. It's spit. When I touch the back, like in the anime, she's like, when I touch the, what does she call it? Like the dangling, like, I th no, she just calls it the uvula. She's like, when I touch my uvula in the back of my throat, I spit up and it like helps heal people. And it's like, that's throw up. But in the, an not in the anime, in the manga, she's like, I touch the back of my, th uh, my throat where my throat penis is. Like, it's completely like two different things. And like, just like, well, throat penis is way funnier than uvula, like, because he go comments on, like, a young lady like you shouldn't know those kinds of words. Whereas, like, because, like, why would she call, like, why would she know about a throat penis? <laughs> like, but then, in the anime, it's, it's just like, well, I mean, a uvula, I mean, yeah, a little girl wouldn't know about a uvula, because it's like, you know, it's a very scientific like kind of it's just it it's off why would a little girl know about a uvula but like it's not as absurd as her saying that i have a penis in the back of my throat like you know so that's one of the more extreme examples another example that i can think of off the top of my head i can't remember her name though uh, i was gonna say something about a certain character but i can't remember specifically who it is so i don't want to say it because i'm probably gonna get it wrong if i just talk out my ass and don't remember specifically but that's one of the things um, that I didn't like is that apparently the anime like was censored. But the thing is, I was like, okay, so maybe if they didn't censor the anime, the manga Thousand Year War arc, the like latest arc that's coming out, wouldn't have been censored. And then I started reading the Thousand Year War arc, and I was like, this shit is like to the tenth degree of everything. Holy crap! That the entirety of like rest of bleach was like it is way more violent than it, like any other part of like bleach was and it's just like wow they really put it up a notch because like whew, people are dying left and right people are getting split in half for no reason like oh it's i was like okay i can kind of understand why they were kind of like yeah no even if they had like not censored the like anime at all it still probably would have been iffy whether or not they would make the Thousand Year War arc, War arc into an anime. But I'm enjoying it because it's a complete different change of pace. Because it's just like, damn, shit is fucked <laughs> while I'm reading it. Uh, though, I have a feeling since Ichigo is a really, really big shonen trope character, like main character, that he's probably going to save everybody and come out on top in the end. Because that's just how this works. So, I'm not too worried about Ichigo or anything. Hey, rude. How am I losing damage as he gets hurt? That was weird. Wait a minute. Did my pen give me damage with chain size? You can, you can mitigate chain size with physical protection? I'm doing 70 to her. That's while my two's active. Right, wait, what does Kali got? Okay, they have the exact same build, so this will work. 55, 69. Wow, I never knew that! I thought Chin... Well, I didn't think... Like, I don't know why I thought this, but I for a while thought Chin Size was true damage based on health. And it's physical damage, like extra physical damage based on health. Huh. You learn something new every day. I don't know why I thought it was true damage. That doesn't even begin to sound fair. But... Still, damn, that's pretty strong to know that. So if you buy penetration while with you have chain size, the chain size are like they get better, huh? Oh, I never even thought of that. Okay, back to what I was talking about, bleach. Oh yeah, and then the only other bleach, not bleach, manga that I've read is Shaman King, and I've never even finished that, and I want to because the manga is awesome. Also, I'm glad I didn't watch the show because the show also got heavily edited. <sighs> Man. I hate that because there's a scene where shit I don't even is it 
I can't remember the character's name because I haven't actually read my fucking Shaman King manga in forever. They're sitting behind me on a shelf and I haven't, like, touched them in God knows how long. So I'm just like, shit. Oh, check me out with the jukes. You're cracking, ain't got shit on me. Um, sorry. That's sidetracked because cracking. Um... Yeah, I can't remember the guy, the character's name. But there's a scene in Shaman King where uh, Yo's friend, his best friend, I don't remember the freaking name of him. Really short, really smart kid, kind of like super nerd. Um, he gets, like, there's this guy during the, like, tournament, or not even the tournament, but the qualifiers, like, to the tournament of the Shaman King, determine, like, to determine who is the Shaman King that like cuts um, cuts him open and you see like the inside of his ribs and everything and I'm pretty sure I saw the clip on of the anime where that doesn't it doesn't happen like that if it happens at all I can do it okay Whew. um but yeah so they censored that part I know for sure and this is a kill on the Poseidon Whee! And then I can also get the Kali, because she's not even at... Well, she is at half, but they don't go home until they're, like, one-fourth health. So this should be easy-peasy limit. Ah, why? Why, Ymir? Rip Ymir, boss. Traveling through towers like nobody's business. Um, but yeah, they censored that part for sure, because I remember... I don't know if I looked it up or what, but I know they censored that, which makes me sad. So, I don't know. But yeah, what manga do you read if you don't watch anime? And what anime do you watch that you've never read the manga for? Yeah, just interesting stuff. I like how Shifter Shield is in here. I don't know if anyone actually builds this on Thanatos. Popular? No. Why the hell are people buying Urchin on him? He needs blessing. I mean, I guess if you're going like a bruiser assassin, but why would you go bruiser assassin? Assassins are meant to be full, full like glass cannons. With, like, maybe a Magi's Blessing so they don't get blown up instantly because of CC. Hmm. Weird. I could see it on Thor because Thor works well because he needs to sit in your face because he has channeled abilities. I, I don't know. I don't get it why Urchin's a recommended item. It makes sense to me. Witchblade makes sense so you can outbox people. Slow their move uh, attack speed while you get more. I don't want any of that, though. You know what I want? I think I'm just actually going to buy a shifter shield. Uh, where the hell is that damn thing? No, I usually go void shield. But I want damages. Um, just for the fucking lulls. Um, you bitch. Slows do not impede me. Um. Damn it, I meant to press four and I pressed fucking five. Nerds. Um. Shit. What was I saying? Oh. What manga do you guys read if you don't watch anime? And vice versa. What anime do you watch if you don't watch. I mean, read manga? And what have you done both for? Like, I've done both for Bleach. I haven't read any Dragon Ball manga, though. I have seen all of Dragon Ball Z more than one time. Anyway, yeah. I think that's about all I want to talk about. I could just ramble until the end of the game, but I don't know if you guys want to see me just ramble until I kill off this other, like, tower and Phoenix, because by the time you get the Phoenixes, the bots just kind of derp out and are like, I don't know what defending the Titan is. But yeah. Um, that's all I really want to talk about, and that's the right reason why I uh, made this video, is because I wanted to actually talk to you guys about something. And while I'm playing, I can't do that because I'm in the zone, and I'm just like, oh man. That was a close one. That would have really hurt. Um, yeah, I'm in the zone while I'm actually playing. Oh god, on her. Okay, he's gonna be okay. You betrayer. No, run away! Oh, he just he just threw his life away for no reason. Rude. Oh, 
Um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about some. Damn it, something specific. So, oh, I can't kill either of them anyway, because fucking Phoenix gonna target me. Um, I wanted to talk about something specific, and I'm pretty sure you guys are sick of looking at the Joust map. So I was like, you know what? I'll do this, um, like Conquest Rome stuff, so that way they can at least see me like run around and destroy people and get a shit ton of kills and be slightly entertained by what I'm talking about while also watching me kill stuff. Though I'm not sure if that's true, and but I hope it is. This could be really bad. Oh crap. Nah, son. Not today. Man, Nope. Not happening. And before fucking Artemis comes out of nowhere. Because these bots will hunt you down and they can see through walls. I learned that the hard way. But yeah, that's all I really want to talk about. Dogs are barking, going crazy. You probably don't want to listen to that. So I'm just going to fade the video out now. And yeah, leave all the answers to the questions I asked down below in the comments and stuff. I hope you guys at least enjoyed this. I know, I know it's not a real game. But I specifically wanted to talk about something. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video and all that. And I'll see you possibly Saturday. Who knows? I might be cooking something up for a new series that isn't Smite related, so you might not watch it anyway. But yeah, see you later.